my name is Asha Visade. I am a cancer biologist at Stanford University, um, and I co-chaired our session on molecular mechanisms of B cell malignancies with a focus on genetics, single cell methods, and proteomics. Our session had uh, several outstanding talks. Um, we had Dr. Elias Campo from uh, University of Barcelona present uh, the current uh, state of affairs in mantle cell lymphoma and the molecular variants of mantle cell lymphoma. Showed, summarized very elegantly data from his group and a number of other groups that have broken this disease into two and told us about what the molecular underpinnings are for an indolent, slow-growing variety of the tumor and the set of molecular alterations, including mutations, epigenetic alterations, anatomic distribution, and clinical outcomes that sort of define it, uh, as well as animal models for how that disease can be uh, modeled um, in the mouse. Uh, we had our second talk was from Dr. Andrea Radke from Bethesda, the National Institutes of Health. And um, she told us about some exciting new tools for visualizing lymphoid cancers, uh, particularly a new method called IBEX from her group and Dr. Ron Germain's group applied to lymphomas, but also other uh, types of lymphoid or non-lymphoid tissues with remarkable clarity and many, many antibodies being able to visualize living uh, cells, but not in living form, um, with many, many uh, different perspectives on those cells using antibodies and uh, confocal microscopy. Uh, the application was for follicular lymphoma that she described to us, and mostly as an exposition for the technique. Uh, but uh, the audience was wowed, not just by her presentation, but the power of the images. So uh, we were really grateful to have her come and present. Uh, the next talk was mine, uh, which uh, I uh, crafted more for the session than what I was originally spoke, uh, asked to speak about. Uh, instead of talking about circulating tumor DNA, I spoke about applying single cell techniques for lymphoma characterization with a focus on the microenvironment on an aggressive lymphoma, diffuse large B cell lymphoma and describing a new method that we've developed for characterizing that disease uh, using a, a several new tools that we published in the last year. Um, the, uh, after my talk, we had uh, three other, uh, uh, two other talks. Uh, these were short communications, uh, abstract submissions that were um, uh, highly anticipated uh, by Dr. Mal Marion Lacroix from Montreal. Uh, who told us about a, a gene called DDX3X. This is a gene mutated in Burkitt lymphomas. Um, and I learned quite a bit actually about this gene and how it works uh, and how it has a gender specific effect both in the animal model and in human patients where there is a strong male bias for this disease and how the gene functions to mediate the phenotype and um, uh, biology of Burkitt lymphomas and other aggressive lymphoma. And finally, Dr. Laura Belver from New York, um, uh, from Giannis Iphantis' lab, described uh, the, um, uh, um, the T cell ALL um, uh, uh, effect of a um, enhancer, a notch mediated enhancer controlling a gene called MYC through a distal relationship and with this beautiful technique really finally mapping that enhancer and showing how the mutations that occur in leukemias affect how this piece of DNA that's conserved all the way down to uh, ancient organisms uh, is uh, organized and controls the uh, activity of a cancer gene MYC. Uh, that's the overall session. We had uh, quite an active discussion of, uh, with the audience with questions about the techniques. I think Dr. Radke's talk was the one that got the most attention because she did such a great job. 
uh, but also a good panel discussion uh, given the range and scope of the topics, which were very different. So uh, we invite you to join us on Twitter and to promote the meeting <laughs> uh, and uh, to join the conversation online. Thank you very much.